hello everyone today we are going to look at graphs on microsoft excel on excel it's either you create a column graph or a line graph or a pie graph or a stacked column graph so depending on the information that you have you can choose what type of a graph will analyze your information more accurately so what we are going to look today look at today is actually creating a column graph using the data that you you probably uh, are faced with keep watching let's get on it okay so what you see now here on the screen it's a table or information that has been created using microsoft excel and what you can do now is to analyze the information using the uh, graph that you think that will be good for you so in case if you are instructed to create a specific type of a graph you must look at what the question actually or the instruction given to you um what type of graph uh, should be displayed and in what way or what uh, format um you can see that this spreadsheet talks about analyzing sales of 2024 to 2025 and then when we look at the column headings here we can see that we've got items which were sold and then each and every item was sold either in 2024 and also 2025 and for the gender which gender was it sold for but now when we look at the figures here under 2024 comparing them with what you see on 2025 you will see that there are differences so that is why now we come to a situation whereby you will find that you need to analyze this information so that you can see uh, using a graph which one was doing better in 2024 which one was doing bad in 2025 and so on so what normally happens is that because on microsoft excel you've got a feature or a tool that will help you to choose graphs if i go to insert like now i click insert you will see that we've got charts here and these are different types of graphs that you can choose but now if you are going to create a specific type of a graph you have to go through each and every icon here to see what graph is that so if i come to this one these are column graphs if i come to this here these are line graphs and then we've got pie graphs if i put my mouse there and so on so but now you need to know what type of a graph you need to create so what happens first is that you need to know what do you want to display on that graph so obviously on my graph i want to analyze uh, the sales of 2024 and 2025 so you can see there's a column of quantity sold of 2024 here and also 2025 there but you cannot only take the columns we need to know what are these um, uh, figures for so these figures are for these items so this item which is column number one should also be part of the graph so that our graph will make sense because if we take only these figures and also these figures and put them on the graph our graph will not actually interpret the numbers so we need something a column that will actually give information as to what are these numbers for all right so what you do firstly is to check what are we analyzing we are analyzing the items so i will take the items by highlighting them like this so all these items meaning that uh, they are going to be part of the graph so what happens is that everything that you want it to be on the graph you highlight you highlight or select like i'm doing now you see this one is highlighted is the first one on the graph the second one that should also be on the graph is the 2024 sales now obviously i need this to be part of the items as well so i will have to highlight both of them so remember if you highlight now the first one you need to also highlight the second one so i will highlight both of them like this which is items as the first one on the graph quantity sold 2024 which is going to be my second information on the graph now we are not done because we need also the 2025 sales which is here so if i take this one and put it on the graph i will have to highlight it as well 
but because they are not next to the first highlighted columns if i go and highlight this one the first two highlightings are going away so how do i make them to appear uh, all of them same time highlighted even though they are not next to each other so the first ones which are next to each other is fine i can highlight them and then i hold control on the keyboard and then i can go and highlight the other one just like that the reason is because we don't create a graph by creating a graph for one column and create a graph for other column that it, that is not how it works you have to highlight everything that is going to be on the graph then we can go and look for the graph that we want so when you check here when you check here now we have items highlighted quantity sold in 2024 highlighted quantity sold in 2025 highlighted so you cannot highlight like this so i'm emphasizing the issue of actually selecting everything that goes to the graph you can you cannot highlight the information only like this you note that this is now something different if i highlight like that it means that my graph is taking the um information without explaining what the information uh, is talking about so you cannot create a graph without headings of the table or the spreadsheet if i want if i it's making sense if i say tables for you probably but now if you are going to create a graph you need to know what is the column heading for the information that goes to the graph so items must also be part of the graph so i start there on the heading itself and i highlight together with quantity then hold control i, ca I cannot start here on 140 i start there on the heading itself and take it so please note that on microsoft excel the highlighting you will see that it is actually uh, uh, highlighted by the border itself so don't worry if the the other one is not shaded we are not um, um uh, shading here we are highlighting so the border that surrounds your work is the one that actually uh, indicates that your work is selected or highlighted so this one that says analysis of sales 2024 to 2025 that is the main heading of the spreadsheet or the table is not going to be part of the graph until we add it as a title i will go i will show you when we get there but now we are taking the headings or you can call them subheadings it's fine which are belonging to the information itself so after highlighting the three then i go to insert then we go to the graphs i take the column graph and then i take the column graph first one so now you can see that there's a chart that we see here on my screen and then i'm going to work on this chart to make it look nice so that it can interpret the information accordingly so i'm going to click on this graph here and go to move chart and click in design first and go to move chart and then make it appear alone on new sheet and click ok so now i have the graph appearing alone so that i can modify it and everyone can be um, seeing it that is clearly okay so now the chart title here i click there then now the heading i want to make it um, make to have sense then i will say analysis of sales 2024 to 2025 and then you can see that my graph talks about everything that was on the spreadsheet or that the table perfumes bags lotions cosmetics shoes t-shirts and dresses so each and every one here each and every um, um uh, item represents is represented in 2024 and also in 2025 how do i know which one is which there's a legend here at the bottom that says blue means quantity sold 2024 quantity sold 2025 it's orange so each and every one has its own color then now i want it to show on the data series here so that it can make sense so i click here or you can make it easy for it to be easy for you you can just click on the graph on the white area there click the plus sign and then look for where it says data labels and put a tick then you will see now it will show all the figures which were coming from the table on top of my graph like that showing that which one was made was better which one was not good because these two you can see dresses they look almost equal until you see the numbers on top of them that they are not actually equal so 2024 was actually lower 2025 dresses were selling higher 
and here t-shirts in 2025 were selling low and then 2024 they were doing better so which item is actually doing the best here according to our analysis dresses are selling i mean t-shirts are selling more faster and then perfumes are the second ones which are actually coming and then we have got dresses as the third one so that is how you can analyze quickly the graph will show you exactly which one is the best and and so on so i hope you have learned how to create graphs and this is how you can analyze using a column graph but there are other graphs as well that we are still going to learn about and i hope that you have learned on how to highlight so that your graph can appear accurately thank you for watching enjoy What? <laughs>